Hello everyone. Do you know what is special today? Today we have National Science Day. We celebrate this day on the discovery of Raman effect by the physicist Dr. C. V. Raman and he also got Nobel Prize for this. So this is a very very special day to celebrate science and what are we going to do today? We are going to complete our dinosaur activity which is the geological time scale of the entire earth from the beginning to the present day and you might have already received these kits from Kalam Labs. So let us get started. So let's start today's activity that is the geological time scale of our entire earth. We are going to start with the pre-Cambrian Aeon and these are the two words that I'm going to use in the beginning Aeon and Era. So Aeon is the biggest time scale that we have and then inside Aeons we have Era. So what are we going to start with? We are starting with the pre-Cambrian Aeon which has three very important eras inside it. So let's begin. The first thing that you have to do is take a close look to both of the stickers that you have. One of them has the landscapes which shows how the earth was looking and the other one has different different life forms and also many wonderful names that we are going to learn till the class is over. So let us start for the beginning you have to bring out this piece and stick it in the very very bottom of your white page. So we stick this then we bring out the very first letter that we have the very first word and what does this say? This says Precambrian and what exactly does Precambrian stand for? This was the very first eon on earth Precambrian. So then we move on to learning about the three different eras that we have. The Hadean era was about the formation of earth which was 4.5 billion years ago. So in the beginning we had the Hadean era in which there was no life form, none at all. The earth was very very bright looking, it was hot, it was filled with lava and everything else. Then we have the Archean era. In the Archean era, we had the first form of life that came into being and then the final era of the Precambrian Aeon was Protozoic. So we stick it here as well. Now take a close look at the stickers that we have available. If you take a close look at them, which is something which looks like a life form but it is very very simple. So the pink thing over here, this is a unicellular life form. Unicellular means just one single cell. So the very first life form that appeared on earth was this only unicellular life form. And these unicellular life form pink looking creatures they were part of the Archean era. In the Proterozoic we had multicellular organism some more bacteria came into the scene. Then we also have this thing which is if you look over here what are these? These are lots and lots of mountains and volcanoes. So what was this period? On earth we had no oxygen to begin with. So the oxygen on earth was very very less and that is why this was a very important time period of the Precambrian Aeon. It came after the Proterozoic era. Here the formation of oxygen started and in this particular thing all the life forms that appeared after this thing, all the life forms that appeared after the volcanoes were active, those life forms were inhaling oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide. Side. So that was very very important. The next era that we have or the next yes the next era that we have over here is Paleozoic. So we are going to learn about Paleozoic now. So for this thing again we are going to bring out the next sticker that we have. So let us bring out the next sticker and if you look at this and if you want to understand what exactly is this. Are we talking about land here? Are we talking about water? Or are we talking about air? What exactly are we talking about? So here we have... So okay. So... So here we have all the water, the evolution of life inside the water and this is the Paleozoic era. So then you bring out the Paleozoic sticker and then you can stick it right over here. 
so if you are wondering what is paleozoic this is an era this is an eon this is an period so paleozoic was an era hadean archean protozoic and then comes paleozoic if you are talking about eon the very first eon was precambrian and now let us dive deeper into what exactly was happening in paleozoic very very first plants started having seeds in them and if you look closely at the sticker there is something green looking apart from this there is nothing else which looks like a plant so here we have plants and then we can stick these plants which were inside water but they had seeds as well so this was the time when very first plants started bearing seeds and they were uh, a little bit similar to the modern plants but still very very different we had other things as well so we had cartilage fishes so these fishes came into the scene so they were no longer simple even the fishes were starting to evolve and when exactly did this happen this was part of the pennsylvanian period so you can start bringing out the different different periods that we have devonian pennsylvanian and the final one was permian what was happening in the permian time period in this we had the very very first reptiles so if i give a brief in the devonian we had the very first plants which started having seeds and then in the pennsylvanian we had fishes which were having cartilage bodies and also we had the very first insects which are still living in the water and in the permian we had the creatures which were the very very first reptiles and then we move on to the next era that we have so if you look at the sticker card that you have can you guess which is going to be the next era that we are going to talk about is it going to be mesozoic or cenozoic okay so and what is going to be the next type of land formation that we have so you can see it very very easily this is the land that we have and if you look closely this is very similar to how our earth looks today we have the soil we have grassland over here as well and this was part of the mesozoic era we have the word mesozoic era and then we stick it once again over here this is the mesozoic era and this might be your favorite era because here it's all about dinosaur the very first dinosaurs the flying dinosaurs the dinosaurs which were in the water in the air on the land and also the demise of dinosaurs everything all captured in the mesozoic era and if you're wondering what exactly does this word zoic means this is a greek word which means life so we started with the precambrian which was a eon we have moved till Hadean, Archean, Protozoic and Paleozoic and now we are on Mesozoic which is the era of dinosaurs. So let's begin. If you look at the sticker card you are going to see there are many many dinosaurs because we know you love dinosaurs. So what are going to be the different time periods that we have over here? The very first was Jurassic. Some of you might have seen this movie as well. There are multiple movies on dinosaurs. They are Jurassic, they are Jurassic, Cretaceous. So all of them are the different periods that we have. The very first was Jurassic and then came Jurassic and then came Cretaceous and they all collectively lasted for 165 million years talk about life so here we have three different uh, periods so which one of these Jurassic Jurassic Cretaceous so in the Jurassic period we had some of the biggest and the largest dinosaurs over here so which was Brocantosaurus so we are going to stick it up over here so this is our Brocantosaurus which was was a giant and then in the Jurassic we had the most scariest and the most dangerous dinosaur that is there which was T-Rex your favorite or Tyrannosaurus so we're going to stick it over here as well and then we also had flying birds for the very very first time so flying birds are also part of the Jurassic world in the the Jurassic period we had the flying birds we had the most scary looking dinosaurs as well 
so we're going to use the birds and we're going to stick them as well in this space that we have so it is a very very lively place we have the flying birds we have t-rex we have the largest dinosaurs but it's not yet over there is something else which is hiding over here and this was also part of the Mesozoic era. So what exactly this is? So what exactly is remaining here? This was a dinosaur which was living inside water and this was Lyoplororon and you are going to stick it somewhere over here which shows that this was living also in water and not on land. So we had dinosaurs in water on land the biggest the scariest and also the flying birds dinosaurs and if I tell you about the flying birds these birds are still seen today some people think that dinosaurs are no longer there but the birds that we see the hens the crocodiles the tortoise all of them are still the descendants of these dinosaurs and then we move on to the last 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 era that we have and if you look at the landscape it looks blue can you think what exactly does this remind you of this is very similar to ice age and ice age was part of this era as well so we are on the last era and this is also the era that we are currently in this is known as Cenozoic so we stick Cenozoic and then we had the different periods over here which are Paleogene, Neogene and Quaternary so one by one we stick them and if you look at the stickers that we have over here what exactly do we have remaining we have two stickers which are remaining one is a very very giant animal the other one is the human so you can recognize where exactly do we come in the history of earth life had started many 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 billions of years ago and we actually come into the scene in the very very end so if you look over here this is a mammoth which was ruling the entire earth in the ice age and what exactly period was this this was paleogene so you have to bring out the mammoth that we have over here and then paste the sticker on the very very top so we're very close and this is how we can stick it so I do not have a lot of space so I hope when you are sticking them you have more space so for now I'm going to just stick it over here and then I have the human remaining as well so we are going to stick the human as well so in the very very end we are going to stick our human and we are going to make it look like the humans have killed the mammoths and reclaimed victory on earth so this was the different eras and eons and periods that we have there are also some more divisions and which are these divisions these are the epochs and the ages so we are currently living in the heliocene so these are the different ages and different epoch we are currently living in Hilo not Hilo Holocene and these are the different ages that we have and different epochs we are currently living in Holocene some people believe that we are no longer in Holocene but something which is known as Anthropocene the age of the humans and how they are changing the entire earth but there is no conclusion in which exact epoch are we living are we living in something new or are we still living in the Holocene but before that all the eras and all the periods this is how they go this is the geological geological history of time and the geological history of earth so where did we begin with we began with the very very past 4.5 billions of years ago when earth was formed then this was the Hadean era then came Archean where was the very first life form single cellular organism but they were not yet breathing in oxygen they were breathing in CO2 only so they were very different from the life that we have currently then there was Protozoic. so in this period we had multicellular life organism but still they were not complex the complexity started when the volcanoes erupted and the tectonics were moving here and there so you might remember that in the past earth was a supercontinent called Pengia and then this was the time period after the Precambrian eon that the tectonic place started moving there were new oceans there were volcanoes and mountains and among everything there was also 
the kind of life form which started forming oxygen and it started giving out oxygen and one of the species was cyanobacteria so something revolutionized happened we had oxygen in the atmosphere oxygen in the water and then we had more and more complex life so we have the paleozoic era next where we had the formation of the first plants which had seeds then the pennsylvanian which had the very first insects also the fishes got more evolved they had a cartilage and then the permian period in which we had the very very first uh, we had the very very first insects and then we had permian in which we had the very very first reptiles which were in water then we come to land and what is happening on land we have the mesozoic era which was the also the era of dinosaurs so we had jurassic jurassic and cretaceous periods starting with the largest dinosaurs that are here and then also the most scariest dinosaurs the flying dinosaurs and also the dinosaurs which live inside water so one by one they were Brocantosaurus, the largest one, T. rex, the green one, or the Tyrannosaurus, and then we have the one which is living in water, Leoplorodon, and also the one which is flying, which is Pteranodon, and then we have the Cenozoic era, the final one, also the present one. Here we have Paleogene, Neogene, Quaternary. Paleogene was the beginning where we had the very first mammals. What are mammals? Humans, and we have dogs and cats and horses and whales all of these are examples of mammals then we had the neogene in which ice age happened and the very first human came into scene and then currently we are living in the quaternary period which we have humans and inside periods we also have epochs and ages i hope you enjoyed completing this activity with me this is how it should be looking and if i give you a better look and this is how it should be looking and i hope you enjoyed completing this activity with me and all the pictures after you have completed this activity please send me your pictures and show me what exactly did you learn and how does your final pictures looks like so always remember whenever you're sticking please leave some gap so that you have place to stick the largest mammoth that we had over here very very big creature it's not going to fit easily so i hope you enjoyed and loved learning about the history history of life on earth the formation on earth till the present day on to the national science day